In this video I wanted to talk to you about a gasoline uh, supply chain case study. When what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take material from uh, crude oil at a refinery, move it through regional distribution centers and then local retail stores so that it gets out to the customers. It's a really good uh, simple supply chain uh, to be looking at but there are a few things that I want to take a quick look at. In particular we're trying to push this fuel out here towards the customer so that when the customer gets there they uh, they have the fuel that they're looking for. Uh, two things that I want to look at though is I want to look at the cost to store it right because there there's more to the cost of fuel than just the item itself I have to store it so I want to look at the cost to store it and then I also want to look at what happens if all of a sudden we have an increase in demand back here at the customer. So let's look first of all at this cost to store. If we go in and look at statistics, it tells you that right now Americans use about 55.9 million gallons uh, of gasoline a day. Uh, and we'll just assume that the average cost of gasoline right now is $2.50. And the inventory holding cost for gasoline is about 20%. You remember from last week, if I wanted to look at, at the local retail store, what would it cost me to hold this? You remember the inventory holding cost was the order quantity divided by two times the holding cost, where the holding cost is the cost of the item times the holding cost rate. So the cost to hold this gasoline at retail stores is 55.9 million gallons, which is Q, divided by two times $2.50 times 0.2, or roughly $14 million each year to be able to hold it at uh, at the retail stores. That's a lot of money. Um, and just holding that much uh, gas a day, it costs us $14 million to hold it out there at the retail stores. We can also say that, you know, if we flip back here to our original stuff, that's the local retail stores, but we're also trying to hold this gasoline at the regional distribution centers. We're using about 55.9 million here, so let's go back to this slide and say that at the regional distribution centers they're actually holding about 150 million gallons um, is their queue. So you can see if at those regional distribution centers if Q goes up to 150 we're spending an additional 37.5 million dollars each year just in being able to hold that uh, uh, fuel at our regional distribution centers. Okay. Now let's switch gears for a second and move to uh, what would happen if all of a sudden we found out on Sunday evening that a hurricane was moving into the Gulf, was going to affect uh, gas supply in our area. And let's just assume that tomorrow, Monday, um, people are going to start going in and trying to fill their gas tanks up, uh, which is going to increase our daily demand by 20%. And we see this every time that, that we have a major storm, uh, snowstorm, hurricane, whatever it may be, uh, where demand goes up. So let's first of all look at a steady state, what would have happened uh, on Sunday. So Sunday, let's say that we started off with 28.1 million gallons of reserve that is in our local retail stores. Okay, so once again, 28.1 million gallons in our retail stores. 55.9 million gallons is what's going to be delivered each day. Okay, that is, that's our normal usage, so that's what's being replenished out here each day. And that our daily demand is the average demand, which is 55.9. So if Sunday's just a regular day, I start off at 28 million, I use up almost 56, I'm, I'm sorry, I get about 56 million deliveries, demand of 56 million. At the end of Sunday, I really have exactly what I started off with. So let's take that ending surplus because that's what we're going to start Monday with right here. We know that on Monday, even though we, we have just heard that we are going to have a, uh, a storm, my delivery doesn't get to go up yet. Let's go back to our thing. Customer shows up to the re retail store. It takes zero days for the order to be filled, right? As a customer, you show up at Valero, you pump your gas, and you're gone. As a matter of fact, when you show up, the retail store knows that the order is there, 
it takes you zero days to get your goods so that's going on however let's take this a little bit further the local retail store the retail store it takes them a day to order and it takes them three days to receive the order so once again if I'm starting on Sunday I've heard some things going on with uh, the weather on Monday the demand goes up so if demand goes up on Monday then on Tuesday the regional distribution center is going to get the order in which means that they're going to get their fuel on Wednesday Thursday Friday okay so we don't get an increase in uh, the amount of fuel that's coming in until Friday so that means that deliveries between Monday Tuesday and Wednesday is still going to be the 55.9 million that we've been ordering in the past however increasing our demand by 20 percent our demand on Monday is our normal demand plus 20 percent of the normal demand so 55.9 million plus 0.2 times 55.9 million our demands going up to 67.1 million gallons so on Monday we started off with a 28.1 million uh, gallon surplus which we brought over from Sunday our de delivery doesn't go up it stays at 55.9 however our demand increases up to 67.1 on the at the end of the day if I take what I started with plus what was delivered subtract away my demand at the end of the day my surplus is only 16.9 million gallons at the end of the day on Monday I bring that forward until Tuesday so on Tuesday I start off with 16.9 delivery of 55.9 demand of 67.1 at the end of Tuesday I'm down to 5.7 million gallons I do that again I start off at 5.7 on Wednesday add my demand of 55 I mean my delivery of 55.9 demand of 67.1 that means my ending surplus on Wednesday is a negative number that means I run out of gas at some point here on Wednesday okay so again just by going up 20 percent we're going to see shortages already on Wednesday all right let's take that just a little bit further we we discussed this a few seconds ago um, the first extra delivery of fuel is not going to get there till Friday night right because on Monday we find out there's a problem Tuesday the order gets delivered over here it takes three days to get back you can also see from this um, setup that the regional distribution center they're not going to be able to start resupplying their fuel though until day 18 it's going to take us a day to get the order there two days to finish to that that's up to three 14 days to move it back here so that's 17 days to get it here so we really won't be able to see that extra fuel ready to be distributed until day 18 hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of the way supply chains work the way that the flow of orders come in the flow of goods come out customer wants their stuff here however this ordering time and delivery time can really uh, affect things especially when we get an increase in demand okay thank you and